Welcome to Maze Engineers, Maze Basics, the Rotor Rod. The Rotor Rod apparatus consists of a rotating rod that increases in speed over a predetermined amount of time. The mouse is placed on the rotating rod. The rod is placed at a height that discourages animals from jumping off of it. The base of the apparatus is padded for a gentle fall. The rotating rod is connected to a stepper motor which determines the speed of rotation. The apparatus also consists of a timer that automatically stops when the animal falls off due to the interruption of an infrared beam. The rotor rod test measures the time an animal can remain walking on a rod rotating at an accelerating speed. The mean latency and the mean rotation speed are factored into the overall measure of motor function. Take, for example, mice that experience traumatic brain injury. They will show reduced motor function, so the latency to fall is typically going to be higher for the control mice than the injured mice. In other words, the amount of time the control mice stayed on the rod was longer compared to the time spent by the injured mice on the rod. We can also look at the speed at which the mice fell. Injured mice are not going to be able to stay on at higher speeds due to their decreased motor abilities, so they will fall at slower speeds. The rotor rod test allows the detection of injury-induced motor impairments at a lower level of injury than other motor performance tests such as the beam balance or beam walking test. This makes the rotor rod test a sensitive and useful test for assessing motor deficits associated with Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, traumatic brain injury, as well as gene knockout and transgenic mice. Rotorod, a test of motor activity. MazeEngineers.com